How's it going, everyone? So Apple this morning released iOS 18.1 Beta 3, and we have it installed right here on our device. We're taking a look at it in Apple CarPlay, see what they added and what's been improved. So here we are, it's connected. And let's talk about real quick about the compatible devices. So as listed right here, for you to have access to the all new version of Apple CarPlay, you do need to be on iOS 18, either developer beta or public beta. But the full devices that's compatible on iOS 18 are as listed right there. Basically, if you have an iPhone SE second generation or newer, you're good. This also includes the older model like the iPhone 10R. And then part of iOS 18 is also, if you have an iPhone that's compatible, you do have access to Apple intelligence. But also iOS 18.8 was also released and we'll be covering both of them. Now with the new introduction of Apple CarPlay on iOS 18, you may have noticed I have a new wallpaper. Because if we go into your wallpaper section in the settings, Apple did remove two wallpapers because this wallpaper right here was available in both white and a green color. And Apple decided to just leave us with the red and blue one instead and take out those two and replacing it with these three or actually I'm sorry these four up here that you see and if you watch my videos in the past you may already be familiar with some of these new things they added especially in the accessibility tab so spoilers there's not really much so you can stop watching this video if you want to but I appreciate you guys for stopping by but I don't want to waste your time so but if you're new to the channel here's a quick recap of everything new on iOS 18. One of the new changes can be this home button right here where this is now the new home button symbol and if you select here for your app layout this is the, the new home button right here. It looks identical to like the iPod classics like the iPod touch I mean as well as the first generation iPhones with the physical home button. And then something that was buggy in the very beginning can be located in music. Whatever media you're using to listen to like Spotify, YouTube music, when you hit play and you decide to like record a video you can now hit record and your media will continue playing while you are recording without it awkwardly just pausing and you can just close out of that that's pretty cool and the next thing you will notice in the music tab is your album artwork is larger than previous especially if you have a larger display right now i'm using a simple car play display that's typically found on most modern day vehicles and apple did thought of some ingenious ways to make everything work you see if you pull down your control center tab and you go into focus mode and you activate the new reduce interruptions the logo will appear right here but if you need to summon siri it'll quickly jump down here and will just go fade away like that your battery icon will also jump down there as well if you're using a wireless CarPlay. In addition to that, another new change can be located in here in your control center because if you add this new little widget right here and you type in motion, there's now this new vehicle motion which you can add to your control center. And when you activate, you can allow it to be automatically engaged when you're in the vehicle or manually select on and this will appear these little dots over here to help reduce your motion sickness and will basically adapt as the vehicle accelerates or brakes. And then the Siri functionality got more impressive. During the time making this video, we still don't have the super smart Siri intelligence. So this Siri is the same Siri that's found on a iPhone that does not support Apple intelligence. Just, we just have the new outer ring right here as you see. But you're able to do things such as request for score games, request for weather, as there's now a new UI animation for the weather cards, as well as help you locate like your wallet or car keys in case they fall down in the abyss on the side of our seats, you know. Siri can now toggle all of that, but the massive changes can be located in your settings because we do have a few new tools. If you scroll down to silent mode, here you can enable it so only your iPhone will mirror the silent mode because if you read the description it says your phone silent mode setting will not change when connected to CarPlay. You can allow it to turn on silent mode on all your other Apple devices so your iPhone will not play alerts or system sounds when connected to CarPlay. Your iPhone will still play ringtones, alarm, timer, music, and audio from videos. So we have these like, new little silent modes abilities i personally prefer having it so it turns turns on my silent mode because i've noticed whenever i get like small alerts like text messages and stuff like that it's only the hey you know my car play that gets a text message notification not my phone 
is whenever you receive a new text message, there's now this new UI animation for your text messages. So it will now list the user's profile behind the app instead of just the app icon entirely. Then this also applies with other notifications as well, like air tags. It now has this new window animation. But still in our settings, if you get out of there and go into accessibility, there's a couple of new accessibilities that they added. So of course, color filters. If you're colorblind of some kind, you can enable this. And you can enable grayscale, red and green filter, green and red filter, blue and yellow filter. You may also increase the intensity, medium, high, even low. So there's that. And if we go back, you could also bolden the text to make it more readable for those that have a hard time of or seeing text. And then down here in physical and motor, you can enable voice control, which will enable this new icon on the side over here. Didn't mean to do that. Because if you look up back on your phone, that little icon also appears. It's appearing due to the fact that it's indicating that it's utilizing your vehicle's microphone as well as your iPhone's microphone. So you could do stuff like open music and it quickly just takes us to our music app. And here you could verbally request it to skip track, go back, and shuffle a course. And anything you see right here, like the home tab, new, and radio, if you like to click on those, just simply just say tap new. And it does it it's just like that. And you just read whatever it's on the screen and just say the tap word and then follow by the title of the action you like to, it to tap on. You can also say open as well. Open settings. And it's been significantly improved. I'm gonna return this off and go back. But that's basically it from voice control. But down here, if you scroll down, you'll find sound recognition. This is cool to have enabled, especially if you have like a hearing disorder, because this will allow your CarPlay unit to constantly be on the lookout for anything that sounds like car horns or sirens. So if you have siren enabled as an example, and there's an emergency vehicle, your screen will show you a notification saying maybe sirens are playing nearby, allowing you to be more aware of what's going on. If we go back and go into our homepage, of course you could turn off or turn off your show album artwork. Then while on a phone call, whenever you receive a phone call, unfortunately there's no like recording built in. You still have to manually go on to the phone that you, you're having that phone call with. Let's connect the CarPlay and tap here to actually start the voice recording. So you still physically need to grab your phone to do that. This call will be recorded. And then if you have an iPhone 15 Pro, then you have Apple Intelligence enabled for your, both your Pro model or your Pro Max in the message tab. If you tap on the contact number, what this is the new window screen because if we go ahead and switch to an iPhone that's on the iOS 18 beta, you'll see that the Siri animation remained the same. And when you go ahead and reply to some of those messages I was showing you earlier, what do you want to say to Mark? This is how that window looks like. So a bit different, it's just their contact information's on the bottom. And instead of this, we have that outer ring, of course. But now you're up to date on any new changes and stuff they added on iOS 18.1, beta 3, and also iOS 18. 8, both developer betas and so far i haven't seen any bugs or glitches i've tested everything as demonstrated in today's video but even off the camera i was trying to find some bugs i didn't find anything so this is definitely like the official release of what we should be expecting for ios 18 sometime in september because after all the apple keynote is going to take place on september 9th maybe around that week is when we officially will receive ios 18 on our devices and possibly sometime next week is when we're seeing the RC version of iOS 18. Now for the full coverage of iOS 18 on your mobile device, so long as the video is now uploaded, check it out right over there where I give you the update on how it looks like on iOS 18.1 Beta 3. Thank you so much for watching.